night and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Stitch Fix box for the month of September and it is fall and cool weather ahead in this box except I'm in New York. It's after Labor Day and it is going to be 90 degrees for the next four or five days here. Um, just hotter than hot so I have the air conditioning pumping while I am doing this try on because I would be melting otherwise. But let's talk very quickly what Stitch Fix is. In case you're not familiar, Stitch Fix is a subscription style service. If you have never tried this box before, you fill out a style profile and when you fill out that profile, you get paired up with the stylist. Upon your first styling and box being styled, you will pay a 20 dollar styling fee but if you use my link in the comments you will get that fee waived if you've never tried it before and you'll also get fifty dollars to shop your box i will not get anything at this point because i've maxed out my credits for this year and it should reset january 1st next calendar year um also I paid the $49 style pass, so I don't pay any styling fee on any of my boxes, just so you know. However, let's get into this box, and I'm going to show you very quickly. Here is the paperwork that came. It comes in a white envelope, so it comes in this white envelope, and the first paper says, oh, hello, and my stylist's name is Jaren. It has been Jaren for a while now. She says, hi Janine, happy fix day. How was Disney? I'm sorry we didn't find a perfect option for last time, but I checked out your Instagram today and you looked fab in the skirt set you rocked at the park. Loved it. I hope you got a ton of compliments. Want me to keep an eye out for similar vibes in the future. I'm bummed that I wasn't able to track down a denim dress today, but I'm going to keep my eye out for that type of texture moving forward. As always, you can pop into freestyle between boxes too. I've seen some really fun outfits there recently that are sure to inspire you. I wanted to step out of the box a bit, and I thought we'd start with the Steve Madden apparel dress. The rich colors and check pattern are essential fall vibes, but leave me a note if you're a fan of the tied waist, XO Jaren. And then this card has all of the items in the fix and how to style them. Also in the fix, it says, thanks for letting us style you. And this paper is essentially the receipt with all of the items and their pricing breakdown. We're not gonna talk about that just yet. I will tell you that this is Fix 71 for me. Um, but without further ado, I'm gonna get into this try-on. The first try-on is gonna have two items out of the five items in this fix, just so you know. Um, and again, there's always five items. So let's get started. Okay, I have that first outfit on as promised. And just so you know, you should have seen the style card uh, before this try on, so that should have all the information, but I will read it quickly to you. And if you're, you know, needing any other information about the outfit, it'll always be below in the comments. So without further ado, let me tell you the two items and then I'll pull away, come closer, and I'll show you everything. But on top, first of all, I have by two items by Steve Madden. So the first is the Steve Madden Apparel Knit It Jacket. It's in beige, size small, and this is the most expensive item in the fix, coming in at $109. Underneath, this is the dress she was talking about, is the Steve Madden Apparel Fatima Dress in green, size small, $78, okay? So, very quickly about this jacket, and then I'll pan down and you can see everything, but I want you to see the actual pattern. It's like a textured, and 
if you watch Carolyn and her clothes, like I'm very friendly with Carolyn, she actually got this jacket in her fix and we were talking about it. So Carolyn, here it is on me and you asked me how I would style it. I'm gonna show you in a second, but I absolutely love this jacket. Just like Carolyn was saying, I have nothing like this in my wardrobe. And in fact, I was looking on Nordstrom's during the anniversary sale and I was looking for kind of like a sweater coat um, a coat again and I kind of feel like this may fit the bill. I missed out on the one on um, Nordstrom's website during the anniversary sale and then they brought the price down again at Labor Day and I missed it again for the cheaper price so and it still wasn't as cheap. This isn't even that cheap but it still was more money than this jacket that I have on so I'm kind of thinking I might hold on to this because I have nothing like it. I want to pan down and show it to you and how I have it styled. So hang on. Okay, here it is. And I'm sorry because the dress is coming up darker than it really is in this try on. When I show you the dress, hopefully I can show you the rich color. It's a really dark green and black plaid, but I have it styled with the dress. And then I also have it styled with my light colored cowboy boots from my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. And I think if you could see, I'm trying to put the jacket and the boot together. They're very similar color. Um, kind of panned out and zoomed out. So hopefully you can see it a little bit better, but together, but yeah, that's the full outfit. I'm gonna take the jacket off so you could see the actual color of this dress now. Okay, I'm hoping you could see the color a little bit better. It's like green and black uh, checkered plaid. It's buffalo check green and black. It has this really cute tie waist. I'm not usually a fan of the tie, but I don't know. It's something about this dress, it fits really, really well not gonna lie to you so um I'm really liking it I don't know I, it's a definite option for the fall and with that jacket and the boots I, I don't know I kind of am liking it I'm coming down so you can see me talking but um yeah I don't know I have a couple of more items these actually were the two I was the most excited about but let's get into the rest and you'll see for yourself. So hang on. Okay, I'm back with the next item in the fix. And this is the Seeing Stars Tory Sleep and Lounge Super Soft Set. This set is in, they're saying the color beige, size small, $62. And it's a camo print. So let me back up so you can see. It is too big on me, first of all. I'm, I'm just gonna lay that out there. It is a size small. I mean, I understand lounge that should probably be a little bit more roomy, oversized, but I kinda did a front tuck, but even cinching the waist in, I have a ton of room in the pants, like baggy, baggy, and this shirt has like a ton of room. And I did, I thought I changed my sizes. I'm gonna have to check again, but I just want you to see the print. So it's a camo print, but like, it's like uh, greens, beige, almost like a brown, gray. Um, It's cute. And I did check, I could size, I could size down and I have it just paired. These are by Lucky Brand. I believe I showed you these in my Nordstrom anniversary sale, but they're from about a year ago from Stitch Fix. I don't wear them that much, so they're in really good condition. Um, so I just paired them for the cream and the cream and this. Um, but here, if I untuck this, look at, it's huge. <laughs> so that is why I front tucked it because it's really large. I'm not liking this. I am a camo girl. Like I have a lot in the camo print, but uh, I don't know. I don't need it. I bought, 
I bought the Barefoot Dreams lounge set uh, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So, and that just feel, feel, felt richer to me. This just kind of feels, meh. It's soft, but I kind of feel, I tried seeing stars before by them and they pilled pretty badly. So I also have an aversion to that, that I don't want to waste my money if it's going to pill again. So I'm probably going to let this go. Fair warning. However, I have two more items in this fix now, right? Yeah, this was the third. Sorry. Two more items. I have two blouses to show you. So I'll be back in a moment with the next item. Hang on. Okay, I am back. And the next item, item number four, is by One State. It is the Pin Tuck Detail Sleeve Button Front Top. And this is in the color black, size small, $79. So I'm going to back up. Actually, first I'm going to show you the print. It is a floral. It looks like roses. Um see it's like pink blush type roses on like a black background it has this little V neck and then it has some buttons I have it front tucked I'm wearing it with a pair of gray um, seven for all mankind jeans that I bought a couple years ago which were very tight on me before I lost the weight and now they're actually a little loose on me and they're a size 25 so no complaints I'm not complaining about that but just so you know the size of what I'm wearing and I have my Sorel chocolate booties on like this because of the blush color I thought you know maybe brown um, I have it front tucked I will untuck in a moment so you can see it but I want you to see back let me untuck so you can see. It's pretty boxy if it's and very roomy if I don't front tuck it. It's cute, but it's polyester and it's like the polyester that is very um like I don't know, like scratchy almost. So I don't know if I'm really it's cute, but again I have to look back at the footage, but I'm not a big fan of the material, to be honest, so that's a big issue for me, I think. But, coming down a second, I have one more item, and I'm going to just switch it up and put that on, so hang on. Okay, I put that jacket back on, because I have the last item technically on. So, this is by... Pink Clover, it is the Kenosha Fitted V-neck Sweater. It is in the color black, size small, $44. So I wanna show you the whole outfit. I'm not sold I'd wear it this way, but I, I don't know. Um, I've seen a lot of people do like the winter white. Um, so I paired it with my white jeans. These are also by Seven for All Mankind. I got them a couple years ago. I have a belt on from Ever Eve that I got, I think, last spring, maybe? Two springs ago. And I put back on my cowboy boots. And then I put the jacket on. I'll have to look back at the footage. I'm, you know, I'm not sure it works or not, but I was, try I was just trying something to see. But let me take the jacket off so you can actually see the top. This is the item, really, that we're talking about. So, hang on a sec. Okay, so here is the top. And I don't know if my camera can do it justice, but it's just black, but it has like that ribbed material. Again, I have it tucked. It's pretty long. I'll untuck it in a few minutes to show you. Um, see how long the sleeves are. It's in a size small. I am probably an extra small, but... For all intents and purposes, this, again, is the size that was sent to me. Um, you can see the back. Again, I'm not 100% sold on this, but I just wanted to see black and white together. But let me untuck so you can see the length. And 
Ignore the fact that I am wearing a belt, so it's definitely going to pucker out, but just for the length of the top, um, you can see how long it is. Again, I don't know. I'm, I have to look back at this footage, but you have seen everything now, so we're going to do a quick wrap up. I'm just going to come up so you can see my face and we can talk a second, so hang on. Okay, I'm back, and as promised, just a quick wrap up. I'm still wearing the black top just for the sake of the video. Um, we're gonna discuss the items quickly here, but I just wanted to give you the total for f the five items without the discount first is $372. There is a bio discount 25%. So if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, if you buy all five items in the fix, you get 25% off. That discount is $93. So my new order subtotal, if I were to keep all five, is $279. Not terrible when you consider it. there is a jacket in this fix and also the dress that I showed you. So we are going to talk about those items. I have them here, but um, not terrible. Not, not wonderful either, but not terrible. Not the most expensive fix I've had in the past at this point. That said, I'm really not sure I, I would be keeping all five. I kind of gave away my thoughts during the try on. This top, while cute, I don't think I have a need for it in my wardrobe and it's a little big. I'd have to see if I could size down. Um, again, I'm going to look back at the footage, but I'm not loving it. So, yeah. The jacket, the jacket, let me put my paperwork down. This jacket is so nice and I just wanted you to see the material if you didn't see it up close before it's ribbed, but I am really liking this and I could see myself pulling for this. Like I showed you, I had two, two outfits in this try-in that I used it for and I really liked it. So. It is the most expensive item, but I think I'd be sad to let it go, so I'm really, uh, I'm contemplating this. Let me know, though, if you think, you know, I'm off the mark there. Um, the next was the loungewear, which I've told you, I don't think I'm keeping this. Spoiler alert, I didn't. I could size down. I did look. I don't love it enough to size down, so I think I'm going to let that go. Um, while this, I want to look back at the try-on. I did not like the material, per se, being polyester and that, like, crepey, like, scratchy polyester, but I thought it looked nice with the pants, so I don't know. I'm going to think about that. And this dress... If it ever cools down here, this would be an awesome fall dress in the buffalo check. And I even think, sorry, um, I even think at like Christmas time this would be nice too. So I may go for the dress. I'm thinking maybe the dress and the jacket, to be honest. But I'm going to look back again at the footage and also you let me know if I'm missing the mark on something. But that said, um, we've gone over everything. I think at this point, um, I kind of gave you my thoughts, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for your support and your friendship. It means the world to me. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below and join the fun. And now I just want to say have a magical day and bye for now.